In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make almost $2,000 at any age, even if you're 15 years old. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? Paul James here, welcome back to the video today. And today, we're on this low-key lighting setup. Something about this lighting setup just makes me wanna go all serious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I thought as long as I have like this new setup for this ad that I'm shooting, that we just shoot the introduction to the YouTube video today with this little setup. So hit the like button if you're excited to see me break this method down. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, if you're into step-by-step -step tutorials like this one that I'm about to share with you, if you're into making money, or you're just straight up an entrepreneur, you should drop below the video and you should hit the subscribe button. And after you subscribe, if you wanna comment on the video saying I subscribe, I will go back through, I will read your comment, and I will welcome you to the channel because I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Yeah guys, so like I said, um, I'm in the middle of shooting an advertisement today for something and I needed to get a slightly different lighting setup going for like the production of it. So I figured, hey, as long as we're doing that anyways, we may as well shoot the YouTube intro with that. I've also been out during the day filming some B-roll and different segments for the ad, so that was kind of fun. But anyways, guys, let's get into this method. It's really cool. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And I think you're gonna learn a lot today and I hope that you'll take action on it. All right, the past few YouTube videos I've made, the audio went to the webcam in front of me instead of the microphone here. So I'm hoping that this time I didn't forget to set it. I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna start this method off on one of my favorite websites, which is flippa.com. And the reason why is because it will give you insight in exactly what is working and what is selling. And I love that. I love just taking what's working, a proven concept, and not reinventing the wheel. So I wanna show you how I do that. So basically the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, we're gonna select websites on the search bar, and we're just gonna search. We're gonna do just a blank search for websites. Now, we're gonna make a few tweaks to the settings here. What we actually wanna do is we wanna come down here and we wanna look for listings that have sold. Now, you may be thinking, let's uh, choose the monthly profit to only show sites that are making money. Don't do that. The reason why is because we don't care in this method about sites that are making money, and I'll explain why. So we're gonna hit search. Now, we're gonna be presented with a ton of results. You can see here almost 160,000 results of websites that have successfully sold on Flippa.com. Now, some of them are gonna sell for pretty good amounts, 9,000. 60,000, 2,000. What do you think separates a $60,000 sale from a $9,000 sale? Usually it's the net profit that the site is making. And you can clearly see that that's kind of what's going on here, right? This site is making $1,853 per month. This site's only making $16 per month, but it's selling for 9,000 versus 60,000. My point is, is that people come on here and they don't always necessarily care about how much money the site is making. So we're gonna focus on a site, building a site that we can sell on Flippa for a decent amount, um, you know, around a $2,000-ish range. And honestly, anywhere, in my opinion, between $700 and $2,000 is, is a decent amount to be able to get from this method. But why would people pay for that if it's not making any money? Well, there's other things that they might pay for. For example, they might pay for existing traffic if you can get traffic coming to the site, people visiting it. They might pay for it if you've got an email list that you've built because of the site, because that is an asset. They might pay for a strategy that is working well with the site that you're giving with it. So maybe you put together a little guide or a little mini coaching session that comes along with the purchase of your site. You see, these are things that people don't think of. These are things that people, they, they don't get creative with. They think it's all about how much money the site makes and that's what's gonna actually sell the site. It's not. Okay, so that's what I want to get you thinking about during this video here. And we're gonna go through some of these sites and I'm gonna give you some examples. We're gonna create a listing together. Now, what I'm not gonna do in this video is I'm not gonna teach you how to create a website in this video because I've already got a whole training series on that 
I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. It's a free training series on how to create a website, how to get WordPress installed, how to get domain hosting, all of that stuff. But I'm assuming a lot of you guys watching this already know how to do that. And if you don't, you could check that out. But we don't want to waste time in this video covering that. We want to get right to the gold. All right, so let's go through here and let's start uh, researching and see what we can actually find out. So I'm just kind of looking at stuff, um, looking at like how much the site is making. So I came across this listing right here. It's sold by auction for $1,791. But what I thought was interesting was that the site is actually making negative $10 per month, meaning it's actually losing at $10 a month net profit. It's making some money, but with the hosting costs, it offsets the money that it's making because they're paying more for like hosting. And let's see what else they're paying for. Uh, right here, it says they're also paying for Cloudflare. So a lot of times I like to come down to the comment section of the video and, or not the video, of the Flippo listing and actually see what's going on. Um, so it's pretty neat and you can actually kind of see why they're deciding to sell it. So you can see here um, why they're deciding to sell the site. The business plan is for a mega online magazine. So basically they were kind of doing, it sounds like an auto blog basically, which I taught you guys how to do in a different video. And their goal was to make money off of AdSense. Now this is just one method, right? That you could implement. You can see that's how they're generating the traffic is by basically doing bulk amount of news articles. They've got 150 articles right now and the site's actually making them money. But what I think is even cooler is that they sold this site, you know, for almost two grand. And that's pretty insane. Let's look at the site once. So it is pretty much exactly a, a magazine style site, kind of exactly like how I taught you guys how to build in that previous video. I'll leave a link to that previous video as well in the description. But the site setup looks good. So more so what people are paying for here is they're not so much paying for the profit of what the site is making, obviously, because it's losing money, but they're paying for the work that went into setting it up. They're paying for the nice design. They're paying for the traffic that it's actually already generating. And let's talk about design. Design is important because you can, even if you have no traffic, if you've got a site that looks good and is designed well, you can sell that alone, especially if you bundle it with like a strategy and say, I'm going to sell you this site and I'm also going to give you the strategy of how to get traffic to it and start making money with it. Like you could actually sell them like a guide of your plans, but you have to have the design looking right. So that entails getting a nice theme installed on the site and they have a nice theme up here. That entails having a nice logo on the site. You don't, you want something that looks professional. Don't do like something text-based um, and, and just have it be generic because it's these little details that are going to make this shine on Flippa. Um, so go out there and spend the little bit of extra money to get a logo design. I recommend Design Crowd. You guys know I just threw a logo contest on Design Crowd. Um, it's designcrowd.com. And I got 177 designs back. Um, it says 155, but I think it's actually 177. Um, and they were just great looking designs. And you could see here, I had a lot to choose from. So, you know, run a logo contest on Design Crowd and use that to brand your site and really make it look nice, make it look good so that people are actually going to look and see that the finer details have gone into this. Now, that's one idea. Another idea is, is you could, rather than setting up a magazine type site, you could set up a site that focuses on building a list. So you could set up just a straight affiliate marketing site. It could be a site about um, fitness or yoga or anything, making money online, whatever you want and set it up so that you're generating leads. And you could run some Facebook ads, generate traffic to the site and start capturing emails. And you could list your site up here. Again, you wanna make sure that the landing page in the site is aesthetically pleasing. Get a good logo design, brand it. That's what people are really paying for in Flippa is that the work is done, the branding is on point. So that's like a big thing. But also if you can start building a list with that, I don't know if I can find any examples here. Okay, I found an example here. And this one actually, it doesn't really look that great. And you can see the kind of results they got. I think they could have done a lot better with it though, had they have gotten some better results, but they have, or better design, I mean, they could have gotten a lot better results, but this is their site. And 
basically they're teaching people how to make money by investing into crowd uh, funding platforms and also investing into like real estate and stuff like that. And basically they're trying to get email opt-ins and they listed that on Flippa. They're making money through affiliate marketing and they got uh, $1,450 for this site. Now I believe they truly could have made a lot more. I think they left a lot of money on the table by not going that extra step in like putting up a good design and putting up a good logo. Um, but it's still decent. It's like a still nice profit that they made. So you could literally put together a landing page and drive traffic. Now they even said down in the description here that they're making money from affiliate sales and they're getting traffic from Google and Facebook ads. That's it guys. I mean, this isn't anything mind blowing here. Um, maybe the, maybe the results are mind blowing, but Certainly not like the principles behind how they're doing this is not mind-blowing and I want to show you how you can actually do this same thing, but do it even better So if you set up a site Put in an opt-in form and run some Facebook ads to it. Here's how you run Facebook ads to it I'm gonna go into my business manager here. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go in my training dashboard of my where I set up all my training ads to teach people and What you want to do first you're gonna want to go up here and you're gonna to wanna to set up a pixel. So come up here and grab the pixel code that's there and put it on your, um, your thank you page. So after someone subscribes, they'll see a thank you page, right? And you can use any autoresponder you want. MailChimp is free. Um, I really like ConvertKit a lot. Aweber is, is an okay one as well, but they're gonna have a thank you page after they opt in. And on the thank you page is where you wanna put that Facebook ad pixel. This lets Facebook know that the ad converted and they will optimize your ad for conversions then. So then what you can do is you can create a new ad here and you can optimize for conversions. That's the type of traffic you'll do. So let's just say Flippa for campaign name. Okay, so now you'll pick a location and you can pick any location you want. You can pick somewhere that's gonna generate cheap traffic like India or something like that. Um, totally up to you. Pick a location. I'll just say India because traffic is cheaper to buy there. And what you can actually then go and do is come down. I recommend going with mobile only because that's going to be the cheapest form of traffic. And we're trying to just get this site jump started with some initial emails so that we can put on our listing that we've generated some emails from it. And you only want to do feeds. So do mobile feeds. Set a budget of just $5 a day is fine. Um, everything else you can just leave as standard and go to continue. You'll need to set up a Facebook page that you can run the ad on and then you can do an image ad. You could find something funny to grab people's attention. You know, maybe you do like a funny animal photo or you can do something, whatever the ad has to do with obviously is probably gonna be best. And then you're going to put in your ad copy, whatever the promise is of your site and your URL and the headline. And when they go there, they're going to land on your site. They're going to enter their name and email. They're going to subscribe to the list. And if you could just build an email list of even 20, 30, 40 people, that's going to show proof of concept for when you list it on Flippa. Now, you don't want to run ads to a straight up landing page usually from Facebook because Facebook wants to see some content on your page. Like, Something like this probably isn't gonna go over well. However, if you have a short blog post, even 150 words that kind of talk about what they're getting, that's gonna do a lot better. And then Facebook will be sure to approve the ad. You'll have better shots of your ad getting approved on Facebook is basically what I'm saying because Facebook doesn't like just straight opt-ins. They want you to give context to what they're actually opting in for. Okay, so that's just kind of a really brief overview of Facebook and the method at hand here. But then what you can do is you can come on Flippa now once you've generated your leads. We'll just call this flippatest.com, whatever my site is called. And now you can talk about when the site went live. So maybe it went live uh, last month, we'll say, or we'll just say this month, say May. What type of website are you selling? Uh, we'll say we're selling content and we'll say it's a, a blog. Pick the industry, maybe it is internet industry, internet marketing. Is your content unique? We'll say yes. If it is, if it's not, then don't say that. Is your design unique? We'll say yes, because maybe we went over to Design Crowd and we spent money and put together a nice brand. 
makes a big difference. Does your website receive traffic? We'll say yes. Um, you can hook in Google Analytics. It's not really necessary. What you could actually do is you could just take screenshots of all the traffic you're sending from Facebook. Does your website generate revenue? Again, it doesn't have to generate revenue. I've already proven that. You can look through yourself by the countless numbers of listings that are on Flippa. People buy websites for a lot of other reasons other than revenue. So we'll just leave that as no. We'll hit next. Tell us more about your website. We could say something like yoga blog with 100 person email list after only one month or whatever, you know? The goal is, is to really get someone excited here. Now we're gonna talk about the summary of what we might put in here. So for the summary I put, we just built this amazing brand in the yoga fitness niche or whatever you know your, your site is in. We spent some time figuring out the ad campaigns and are generating leads and traffic for the site already after only one month. We could put something like amazing opportunity or just something to really get people excited. What's included in the sale? We'll say the website, content, domain name, premium logo, what is required to keep the business operational? We'll just say pay for hosting. Why are you selling the business? So this is a really good explanation that you could say for this question. We enjoy the process of starting businesses, not running them. And that's just kind of the truth, right? You're just saying that that's what you enjoy and that's fine, that's a good enough reason. How does the business generate revenue? So we're gonna say by building an email list, you can market various affiliate products or products of your own. Are there any business expenses? If so, what are they? We'll say hosting and optional Facebook ads. What are marketing initiatives that have been used for this business? Just say whatever you're doing, if you're doing Facebook ads. How can the future business owner improve? You could say something like SEO. They could do search engine optimization on the site. And then you can talk about how you wanna sell it. I recommend doing auction probably seven days is good. They say they recommend 14 days, so maybe you wanna do 14. Um, up to you. Do a starting price, maybe you keep the starting price low. Um, you can set a reserve just like eBay, like of what you're willing to let it go for. Maybe you put in a pretty high buy it now price. Um, again, totally up to you. Now, one more thing before you go on and actually create the listing that I'd recommend that you do is under here what's included with the sale. I would put something about, you know, I'm gonna, put together a guide that talks about how we've generated these leads and what our method is and our targeting and exactly how we're doing it. And I'll give you this guide as part of the sale. You can use this not only on this site, but on all of your other sites to generate more leads. Something that's gonna get people really excited. That way, they're not just paying for the brand, they're not just paying for the website, but they're paying for your strategy, which I already broke down for you on how it works. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That is the method. I hope that you enjoyed it. I think it's really dope. I think it's an awesome method. I hope that you take action on it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and tick that bell notification icon so that you get notified of every video when I release it and when I go live. I live stream on here sometimes. It's a good chance to ask me questions and you know just kind of interact with me even more, which is cool. But hey, I'm so happy you're here today and I hope that we'll see you in another video in the next day or two. Until next time, guys, I am Paul James. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.